show, eh? Freaking right. On the Bills' show, we're always mad we are. Look at us. Look at the hair boys. Hey, That's a mad scientist haircut right there. Freaking right. Bill Nye the science guy. Why wouldn't I be? But anyways, I've got some big cock mirrors for the old Silverado there, so I don't have to buy the stupid extension mirrors that go on and they never sit on there right and they're just cocked right over. And you know what I'm talking about. They really are. Don't mind the garage boys haven't got much room right now. Halloween, this, that, the other thing, and it's just cocked. So hopefully you can get over that and follow me here. Pay attention to what I'm doing, why wouldn't you? But I got some big balls for the freaking Silverado or big cock mirrors or whatever the hell you want to call them. Toe mirrors, boys. I got them from the old eBay there and they are $158 Canadian to my door, boys. Well, to my mailbox, boys. They have a mailbox in the state to do. America has got a mailbox. I watch a lot of videos of this and they don't really show you plugging them in or nothing like that. So I'm going to skip by the remove the door panels on the Silverado and get right into installing the mirrors because tons of videos about how to freaking take off a door panel, but no videos on whether you can just plain plug these things. So I'm going to see on my Silverado LT if I can plug and play the bad bad boy. So when we open the box, we got styrofoam boys. So what we need is enough, boys, girls. We just seen enough. What happened here? Did I not just see it? Oh, here it is. We got enough. We do. This is staying left. So this will be the driver's side, which is decent because it's more out first. So the driver's side, we've got a plug, and we've got another plug, boys, with three wires on it. So that's telling me that this could be a trigger for a few things. Okay, here we go. So we got a plug that we're going to plug into the original harness on the truck Ruski. And the white, gray, and blue wire is the clearance lamp. Gray wire is the clearance lamp, positive, negative. And blue is backup light. So in the bag we have, in the bag we have the mirror boys. And it looks like, look at that. Ah, freaking Jason, hey? So there's a mirror. It's got the marker light on the outside, which is small. I got the smoked. It's got the reverse lights. Right there, boys. And it's got the turner signal. And it's also heated. And also pulls out. That's a pretty decent looking freaking mirror. So let's pause the old Kamaruski here. We'll get our setup out there. We'll get the door panel off. And we'll install this and see what we need to do to make everything work. Because that's the way I am, boys. Girls, peoples, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you want to see actually plugging these things in. Video. So looking at the mirror on my truck, all the mirror has right now is power. No heat, no turn signals, no nothing. It's just a power mirror. So when I look at the plug that goes to the mirror, which is here, I've got one, two, three, four, five wires going to the friggin' doodad. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wires in the plug. So what that tells me, probably the heat is already involved in here because I do have a rear heater in the back window. If you have a rear heater in the back window, chances are you have the option for heated mirrors. But we'll take it off, plug it in, and uh, see what's really going on, boys. Freaking right now. Just unplug the mirror like so. 10 mil for that, and the mirror should come out. One, okay, one, two, there we go. So now what I need to do, because I have vent visors, is I need to unstick the vent visor on the mirror very carefully. And then I should be able to go. Okay. There is a clip in these things that hold pretty good down in here somewhere. Oh, there it goes. So now I should be able to slide it out from the vent visor. There you go. Oh, she comes. Decent. So we'll clean off in here a little bit. Okay, just with a little bit of this. We use a little speed shield acrylic paint sealant from good old gold glass accessories, hey boys. Don't forget to get yours. So I'll just give that a little squirt and we'll seal up all the dirt and make sure it's all in there, but really it cleans it pretty good. There we go, hey. So now we'll go grab the mirror, boys. Now one thing that's really handy about these new mirrors is it's got a hole in it. You, you don't, it's not as easy to drop. So that's kind of nice, hey? There's one option for you. But uh, we'll fade the wire in like so, hey? Like so. We'll shove it in the hole, you know? What is that? Boys. Oh, it's like a little clippy clippy to stop the mirror from falling out. That's decent. So we'll get her in here. We'll move the vent visor. We'll slide it up in. We'll blow out the hole. And Bob's your friggin' uncle, boys. 
Sorry, Dad. No go on the ants away. So, the clip doesn't work the way it's supposed to. I'll tell you that right now. So, I gotta find some way to put a screw in without dropping the mirror, boys. Stay. There we go. Oh, fuck, boys. So now we gotta find the other 10 mil that I dropped inside the fucking door. So, I'm gonna use a ratchet for this because I don't wanna break the new mirror. That way you can feel how tight it's getting. Now we gotta find the other nut I dropped. Boys, it probably went right down inside the freaking door. Magnet, please. If you ever need to find your nuts, boys, just get a magnet. Why wouldn't you? Why the hell wouldn't you? It's all how you hold your tongue, boys. Oh, frick. Where the fuck did that thing go? It's right there, boys. All right, so before we get too carried away, I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see what works and what don't work. Because that's the way I roll. Perfect. So we'll plug her in, jump. Decent, and let's see what we got. Power works, boys. Decent. So the power works. How about uh, headlights? What do we got for headlights? No headlights. How about uh, turn signals? Turn signals work, boys. So it's pre-wired for turn signals. Friggin' right it is. Oh, decent. Look at it. And heat is hard to tell, but let's, let's hit the heat and see what we can feel. It's working. So the heat's working. Sure is. So there you go. When you hook up these mirrors, turn signals work, power works, and the heat works. So you get to wire up the three wires if you want the marker light. And what else was it, boys? The marker lights and the backup light, which is this little guy right here. So if you want that thing to work, you gotta wire it up. I'm gonna try to feed these through the door, the grommet, and put them inside the truck. So when I'm ready to wire them up, I can, because I gotta put some new under, new under lights on there. And I don't want that as a reverse light, I want it as an interior light. So when the interior lights come on, those two come on instead of reverse. Because I got bright cocksuckers in the back anyway, so I don't need them. So, let's move on to the next door. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you guys don't have yourself a nice fancy friggin' doodad tool to get through this grommet, I just use a piece of black wire. Make sure you roll the ends on each side. This will help hold the wire on, and this one will help it go through the grommet easier. Oh, bend it, push it. Oh, I feel something happening. There you go. Didn't take me too long to do that. I need a little bit of loom for that, I do. I'm gonna have to use a little bit of recycled loom, but recycled loom is better than no loom. If your guys are wondering, so I'm not gonna be a dick and not show you this. All right, so can you see the grommet? You can. So the best way to do it is there's a little push pin right here, and if you just push on that with your screwdriver, it pops out of the door. But it works the same on both sides. So all you do is you pull this out, pull this out, and straighten that rubber up, and then push your wire through it. And that's the easiest way. And then you just snap that back in. You feed this through here, which I didn't do. So we gotta feed this into the truck. There it is right there, gotcha. So there we go. So we feed the wire the rest of the way through, like that, pull it into the truck, like so, and clip that back on. And that's all there is to run that wire into the truck. So now we just gotta hook that up inside wherever it goes, and uh, we'll repeat, we'll repeat on the other side. The mirrors are on there. All I got left to do is, like I said, that bit of wiring right there. Yes, it is getting dark out for freak's sakes. Oh, just so you know, when you're pulling the trailer, they pull out, boys. Not friggin' decent. Friggin' right it is. Well, let's put the four ways on and see how the old signal lights work, you know, because they look decent. Where's the four ways, boys? Never use them. So there's a turn signal. Decent. And there's the outside turn signals. Boys, look at them. That's decent. That is friggin' decent, eh, Mel? Friggin' right it's gotta be decent. Look at that guy. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? But anyways, lights in my face so hopefully you can see me which you can because the lights in my face boys but like i said when you buy these friggin mirrors for your truck on ebay they're pretty friggin good they are so i'll put the link below for that and remember when you hook them up signal lights work in most chevy silverados is already pre-wired heat works which is pre-wired and the power works but you got to hook up your marker lights and your backup auxiliary lights these are called auxiliary lights so you can use them for whatever the heck you want I'm gonna use them just as the dome light, hey? Okay? Freaking right I am. I got a treat for you tomorrow. The video might not be out tomorrow, but I got a treat for you tomorrow, and it requires a helmet. So stay tuned for that video to come, and hopefully you enjoyed this video, and that's the way she goes, hey? Hi, Mel. How you doing back there? You good? Decent. Yeah. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. It's Friday, so you know what to do for now. 
swish swish, motherfucker.